Hello again, it's Dr. Taylor, Undergraduate Exercise Science Program Director and Associate Teaching Professor at the University of Kansas. And welcome to another edition of Fitness Facts. A student of mine recently asked, what does the term muscle memory mean? I'm going to discuss this phenomenon in a two-part video series. In today's video, I will discuss muscle memory as it pertains to the brain. In part two, which will be the next video, I will talk about muscle memory occurring in muscles. So in the brain, muscle memory is also known as procedural memory. Repeated practice of a motor task is required to store procedural memory in the brain. Examples of common motor tasks that can be stored as procedural memories include riding a bike, driving a car, playing a musical instrument, shooting a basketball, swinging a golf club, or performing various weightlifting exercises you may have learned at the gym, such as a back squat or a power clean. Let's talk about what occurs when you are learning a new motor task, such as how to perform a power clean correctly. Well, initial attempts to complete the lift are often uncoordinated, slow, stiff, and executing the proper movement pattern requires a lot of conscious focus and attention. However, by practicing the power clean repeatedly, your execution of the lift becomes smoother, more coordinated, more explosive, and muscle activity specific to the power clean occurs with little or no conscious effort. Overall, your technique improves drastically with practice, and what was once a new motor task has now been learned and stored as a procedural memory. Completing the power clean now requires less attention and becomes automatic. Numerous brain regions are active and involved in creating procedural memories, including the prefrontal cortex, primary motor cortex, premotor cortex, supplementary motor area, the somatosensory cortex, the cerebellum, thalamus, and the basal ganglia. There is debate regarding where exactly procedural memories are stored in the brain. However, a strengthening of connections between neurons in the brain regions I previously mentioned is known to occur, especially between the motor cortices of the frontal lobe and the basal ganglia. The basal ganglia are interconnected with many brain regions and they are known to play an important role in motor learning, procedural memory, and control of voluntary movement. It also appears the basal ganglia are involved in movement planning, sequencing of movement, and the automatic selection of specific motor tasks that have been stored as procedural memories. Think of the basal ganglia as a gate that can inhibit or enable the initiation of a voluntary movement by the primary motor cortex. I hope you enjoyed this fitness facts video. Thanks for watching.